first and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechach, A double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to all Yoakim out there pushing his word with all truth and sincerity. And we the brothers from the Houston camp, man. You know, we about to go ahead and uh, start our camp, you know, with the other brothers, but man, the brother the Lord allowed us, you know, as he control all things, we both made it a little early today. And um, as we made it, you know, we just, hey, was breaking bread, man. And who is that bread? Yeah, how, hey, we might as well get that because we want to, John 6, we want to go into your house shot. You know, we just want to speak on our Lord, man. So like, I'm going to let this train pass, you know. And me and the brother was, you know, just waiting by camp, breaking a little bread, man, talking about the Lord, Yahweh Shai, man. You know, how the Jesus version of him, they watered down the Lord, man. They watered down our Savior, man. You know, because he came in the same flesh as we came in, but he conquered the flesh, you know. And all the things that he knew, think about it, Yahweh Shai knew the things that he had to fulfill. He was walking, knowing Knew the storyline already. Right. We still walking. That's why we got to pray to the Most High that he direct our way in truth. But Yahweh Shai knew the storyline. Why you think he told the disciples, look, go into the city, give me an ass with the coat, bring it to me because he knew he had to feel what? Zechariah. Right. You see, but the point is, we can hold that knowledge in our in our minds like he could. Go ahead, bro. Right. Then he said, he said, tell him that the Lord, the dude that they got the ass from, it was like, tell him that the Lord required this. Right. And he, like, All right, he, and he gonna give it to you. Right. Since he already knew. Right, right. That's right. You can grab that real quick, because this is what, hey, when we, hey, we breaking bread of the Lord, man. This you know? John, this John 6, I started at 46. Not that any man had seen the Father, except, except he, which is of the Most High. He had seen the Father. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. I am that bread of life. Hey, that's the spirit. Because what we talked yeah, about we earlier, talk about me and the brother was saying how powerful Yahweh Shai is, man. Think about it. When we die, what happened? Our body go into the ground, which is the flesh, and our spirit go up to the Most High who gave it. And then we get our judgment. Right. Now we all been there before. But guess what? I can't tell this brother, bro. I remember, bro, my past life, I remember I died. I went up to Yahweh, I seen him, I seen the angels, and I looked at Yahweh Shai sitting at the right home, and Yahweh Shai just looking at me, no, right. we can't tell you how it was when we died, but guess who can? Guess who knew Yahweh Shai walked in this flesh, right. you got, Yahweh Shai walked in this flesh, and he knew exactly what was going on in the heavens, he knew exactly what the Most High looked like. Right. Go ahead, real quick. This is Ecclesiastes 1 and 9, the thing that had been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. Right, it said the thing that had been, that's talking about people, man, all right, human beings, so to speak. It says, is there anything wherever said it may be, said this is new? It had been already of old time, which was before us. There is no remembrance of former things. Mm. Neither shall there be remembrance of things that is to come with those that shall come after. So the scripture is saying there is no remembrance of former things. When you, because reincarnation is in the Bible, right? So when you come back, you don't remember what happened in your past life. Right. All you know is today, right, right now. Right. Well, right. like the brother just going. Some into. people forget what happened uh, two, three years ago. Right. <laughs> but Yahweh Shah, he knew everything. Right now, the precept just to prove that that only, bro, that Yahweh Shah knew all this, bro. This is uh, Matthew twenty-three. And only somebody that been to the heavens that know what's going on can can say this. That's right. Right. This is uh, Matthew twenty uh, twenty-two and twenty-nine. This is dealing with the people. Basically, the man that was like basically that she had, I believe it was um, seven men that she was supposed to marry, and they kept dying. And she was like, "Shit, when, when he get to the heavens, you know who who she gonna be married to?" Right. So this be how Shai said, this is Matthew twenty two and twenty nine. Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, "Ye do err, not knowing the scriptures nor the power of the Most High. For in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels of the Most High in heaven." So basically, like, look, the angels that don't have sex. How could you know that? Right! How could you know that? Right! Hey! He, he been now. I got you. Because, hey, what that, what you brought out of I'm sorry, I'll read it again. Uh, what you brought out in John 6 of who I've seen a father? Yeah, yeah, you want me to get that again? Kind, kind. Because that's, hey, that's what man and brother was talking about. We got to realize who our Lord is, man. Not saying, you know, brothers don't realize that, but we just want to expound on that point, man. Like the brother Zainal, Zainal always say. But our Lord ain't no Rudy Poo, man. <laughs> you gotta realize the power your Howard Shot had within him, man. Right. You see? <laughs> hey, people just wanted Peter's shadow to, to, to pass him and they'll get healed. Who gave Peter that power to do that? Right. Apostle Paul, people just had his handkerchief and they'll get healed. Who gave him that power? 
Yeah, how was shot? So how much power he had? Yeah, because it came from me how was shot. Because it started with him when, when people were touching his garment. When the woman they had the issue of the blood for twelve years, right? She touched his garment, she was healed. You know, so your house shot passed that power on to his apostles. Right. You know. Kind of. You can grab that again. It's now. John six and forty six. Not that any man has seen the Father except he which is of the Most High. Check this out. It says not any man have seen the Father, but the Scripture says when you die, your flesh go to the ground, your spirit go up. So we all seen the father, but the thing is, we don't remember that though. All right. But who remember that? Yahweh Shah, quick precept, Sirach 43 and 31. It says, who have, I'm going to start at 30 just to give you the point of who we talking about. When you glorify Yahweh, exalt him as much as you can. For even yet will he far exceed. And when you exalt him, put forth all your strength and be not weary. For you can never go far enough. Now this is the point. Who have seen him, and who is that him? Yahweh. Who have seen him that he might tell us. And who can magnify him as he is? Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai told us how the Most High get down. He told us about the Most High. The brother brought out the precept. Yahweh Shai know what's going on in the heavens. He know angels ain't having sex. Who can glorify him as he is? Yahweh Shai. Right. So that's who Yahweh, bro, come on, man. Be quick right here. John 14 and 7, if you have known me, you shall have known my father also. And have and from his forth you know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, and it suffices us. So he basically Philip was asking the Lord, Yahweh Shah, look, man, show us the Father. You know? And then this is what Yahweh Shah said. Yahweh Shah said to him, verse 9, have I been so long time with you, and yet have thou not known me, Philip? He that has seen me has seen the Father. And how thou says then, show us the Father. So basically. The scriptures say that Yahweh Shah is the express image Tell of you, the Most High. It's like Yahweh Shah knew what the Father looked like, but we don't because right. he's seen him. Right, that's what I'm saying, bro. He said he's the express image of the Most High. You know, if the Most High would come down in flesh, you know, he would be what Yahweh Shah was. You know? Yeah, man. Crazy. You know, hey, I can think about this, man. That's why we excited Yahweh Shah should get us excited. We talking about the Son of the Most High, literally the only being the only spirit the most high created was Yahweh Shai. Right. We can't say God created us because he didn't. Yahweh Shai created us, man. Right. There's only one thing the most high created, and that's his own only, only begotten son. Right. Now, now the scriptures tell us we sons of the most high. But Yahweh Shah is called the only begotten, the only one brought forth of the Father, man. We not no only begotten. Right. It ain't no one of the begotten. No, man. You right. see? But Go ahead, go ahead. No, I said the Heavenly Father created Yahweh Shah and he gave Yahweh Shah the order to create everything. I got you. On you the know? You break it down. You want to? Yeah, I got it. Hey, you, we brought this, this out. This talking about Yahweh Shah. It says Colossians 1 and 15. It says, Who is the image of the invisible power? Right, the invisible power, because we don't know what the Most High looks like. Right, but if you want to get an idea of what the Most High looks like, look at Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. You know, and it describes Yahweh Shah in the scriptures. Yep. It says, who is the image of the invisible power, the firstborn of every creature. Right. So he was the first, Yahweh Shah was the first spirit created. All right. Only spirit created by the Most High, the Heavenly mm -hmm. Father. It's like this brother was going into. And he let Yahweh Shah create everything else. Yep. That's why, um, what man, what's the scripture? That everything was created by him. And this and it, this him. it, this it, right it. That's the spirit, that's the spirit, right, right, right. God. It says, who is the image of the invisible power, the firstborn of every creature. For by him, talking about Yahweh Shah, for by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth. Right, so everything was created by Yahweh Shah. Everything that's, 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 it said that's in heaven and in earth. So Yahweh Shah, he created the angels. Woo! Right? Satan. <laughs> Satan. That's why Satan couldn't get him. Stop playing. Matthew the fourth chapter, he hit him with the scripture like, bro, he already know what Satan coming, bro. Right. right. I know you, bro. Like, I created you, Satan. Right. They, the, Get, Bruh, you know what the demon said when he, when Yahweh Shah came to Legion? Are thou coming to torment us before our time? Right. They, they knew they knew who he was. Yup. They knew that he was the Lord over them, bro. Mm -hmm. He created them. Yup. Yeah, man, that's bad. And hey, you gotta think, bro. That's why Yahweh Shah. You know how we we can guess off, man. Who you think this man is in the reincarnation? Right. Who you think Apostle Taha is? Who you think Apostle Gabor is? Who you think Elder So and So is? Right. Guess what? Yahweh Shah was walking around on earth knowing who was who. John. Hey, this is Elijah. Bro. Well, come on, man. He, hey, why? First, he created Elijah and he knew all things, man. It didn't escape him like it escaped us. 
But to show you how powerful our Lord is, he was in this same flesh, but contained all that in his mind still, man. Right. How you think he how you think the woman in John 4, the Samaritan woman, what he said, shit, you ain't got you ain't you ain't married, you got what, five husbands? Right. She said, How you, you, a you, you how, how you know that? Man, let's get that out. If you ain't well It's, it's uh, John 4. Okay, we're gonna go back to this. Just to show you the power, man, the Lord Yahweh Shai knew this, man, in this flesh, you know? He know who who was, he know all the history. You see? Go ahead, brother. John 4, 16. Yahweh Shai said unto her, go call thy husband and come hither. The woman answered and said, I have no husband. Yahweh Shai said unto her, thou hast well said, I have no husband. For thou hast had five husbands. <laughs> and, he, and he whom thou now hast is not thy husband. Going to it. And, and and that said is thou truly. So basically, I mean, the apostle going to look. She she was committing adultery, right? But he said he knew. I mean, the husband she had. He said, and he whom thou now has is not thy husband. It was his first time meeting the two. Shalom, Mark. Shalom. It was his first time meeting. It ain't like he he got to the word say say Shalom. Hey, I remember remember the last time. No, yeah, no. He, he he ain't asked around about it. You know, see, hey, how many? You know, right. 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 Now you have five. Others. Telling you why, cause all things contained was can. Well, Yahweh shot wasn't no joke. We walking around in this fleshly body, getting mad, cause we doing this and doing that. I'm, I'm all, we, bro, we vexed cause of the, the things we fall short of. You know how, bro? We will probably want to kill ourselves. If we knew all the wickedness we did in our ancient lives. Right. You see? We'll bug out. Bug out. But Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai even knew what he did in his ancient life. That's why when he said, good master, he said, why callest thou me good? It's only one good but the father. Yahweh Shai knew he was Adam. Right. He knew he fucked up. He, yeah, he knew he was Solomon. He knew he fucked up. And tell you that, how Adam fucked up, the woman. How Solomon fucked up, the woman. That's why when he came in Yahweh Shai, he learned from his mistakes and ain't deal with no woman, man. Right. You see? Right. So telling you, brother, Law wasn't no average man. Even though he was in the flesh like a man, he wasn't an average man. You see? And that's what just, you know, and like I said, when we ain't had you know, nothing planned, it was impromptu, man. We right. was before camp breaking bread talking about the Lord. And, and through the Lord, he allowed us to shit. Go ahead and speak about him, man. You know, because you can't speak about the Lord enough. Hey, the scripture we brought out, out earlier, even if we go uh, give all we got, he's still going to far exceed, man. The most high and your high shy, man. You know? You got something? Yeah, it's Romans 8 and 3 real quick. For what the Lord could not do, and that it was weak through the flesh. The Most High sent his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin condemned sin in the flesh. Bro, so what Romans 8 say, bro? The scripture say that the creature is made subject to vanity, meaning that we're gonna go off. We're gonna sin in these bodies, bro. But the Most High put Yahweh Shah's spirit in the same body as us, and he didn't go off. Right. He was perfect. He walked perfect. Right. That's how he was able to be that sacrifice for us. He had to be perfect. He had to be that lamb without blemish. Oh, what a joke. I got this Hebrews for y'all. I'm going to read it. You can break it down. This is uh, Hebrews 2. And I'm going to start at 7. We're going to jump to the point. Hebrews 2 and 7. Thou madest him a little lower than the angels. Thou crownest him with glory and honor. And didst set him over the works of thy hands. All right. Thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet. For in that he put all in subjection under him. He left nothing that is not put under him. But now we see not yet all things put under him. In other words, Yahweh Shah already over all things, but it haven't manifested on the earth yet. Right. In the heavens, everything for him now. Right. Go ahead, Because right? in Revelation, uh, what is it, 11, the 11 chapter, it says that the Lord basically was crucified in Babylon. Right? Because they, they worship in um, Cesare Borgia or even way back, Serapis, Christ Serapis Christmas. Tell them on. Serapis Christmas. All right? So... Yahweh Shah not being glorified right now for who he truly is. Right. You know, and the message that he that he, that he came with, you know, as a savior, and being that, that that sacrifice and being the savior for only the children of Israel, you know, they 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 not they not pushing that. You know. Hey, but another thing, man, his brother was talking about. We gotta think about who we dealing with. No, Seth, you got a 33 year old man, right? Because that's when he died. The, the Lord died at 33. We got a 33 year old man. Yahweh Shai been living since 2,000 years ago. Now every year you live, your age gonna go up 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. You're gonna get older, your body gonna get weaker, you're gonna get older. Now check this out, watch how cool the Lord is. Yahweh Shai died at 33. But the Lord is still alive, he's still in the heaven, he's healthy. But he's still young, man. 
He been living for 2,000 something years since he left, but he's still young and healthy. How we know that? Edges had the dream of men getting crowned, and that haven't happened yet. Edges had a dream of men getting crowned. You about to get it? Yeah. Con, 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 con. It's his second edge was two. And um, I started at 45. He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on immortal. Talking about the elect. Right. And have confessed the name of the most high. Now they are crowned and received palms. Right. Then said I unto the, to the angel. But this, this is going into basically after the elect get saved. You know, the hobbits are going to start crowning them. They said they put off the, the mortal and put on the immortal. They switched that, that flesh. Mm -hmm. Right. They received those new bodies. Which haven't happened yet. Right. right? And say, then said I unto the angel, what young person, what young person is it that crowned them and giveth them palms in their hands? What young person is it? Now, mind you, Yahweh Shai, he died at 33, but been living since 2,000 years ago, but he's still a young person. Who can do that? <laughs> hey, matter of fact, not even that. Yahweh Shai died at 33, been living for 2,000 years, literally right now as we speak, sitting on the right hand of the Most High, go come back. Looking the same way he did 2,000 years ago, man. Right. So when we see them crowds crack, crowds, clouds crack, the man that we see, our Lord and Savior, he literally just left the right hand of God, man. Right. Still a young man after 2,000 years. Ain't no regular person, man. Ain't no regular person, man. That's that's the whole nother level right there, man. Verse 47 says, So he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of the Most High, whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. So that young person that was crowning them was our Messiah, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. Right, man. You know? He said, young person, like that brother was saying, 33. Right? But Elder saw him as a young person. Young, man. Still young. You got to think. Oh, shit, brothers, we trying to see how the Lord look. I'm trying to see how his beard was. it a big beard? Was it a lot? You know? How his fro was? Was it high? Did he have a little shot on the sides? How his nose shape? What is? What did, how, what did he look like? What law would you? We trying to see, man. I'm, I know he's swole. I want to see how his garment look, you know? I know he's going to come back swaggy, <laughs> you know what I mean? We waiting to see the Lord, man. He the ultimate Judah. Like Judah get $20 and be stunting with it. He coming back in the glory of the Father with angels. You know he going to be stunting, man, right. you know? But the point is, he was made in this flesh like us, but telling you, hey, what is 1 Corinthians? The Most High ain't going to give you nothing that you can't handle. So if you can't go through it, he ain't going to put you through it. That's why Yahweh Shai was the only and the perfect person to go through what he went through because he's the only one that can go through it, man. Us, we in the flesh, sinning all day in the flesh, you know? But Yahweh Shai, he can't... Real quick, Hebrews 2 and 16, for verily he took not on him the nature of angels, but he took on him the seed of Abraham, which is the flesh, wherefore in all things it behooved him to be made like unto his brethren in the flesh like men, me and all the brothers, man. It says that he might be merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to God to make reconciliation for the sins of the people. For in that he made himself, for that he suffered, being tempted, he is able to secure them that are tempted, man. He was tempted, but he got through that. And through him being tempted and get through it, we can get through our temptation, man. So he the perfect person, he the perfect Lord, that unblemished lamb, man, you know. But you know, we just wanted to go into a little lesson on the law. Like I said, we was breaking bread, which is shit, breaking the law, man, you know, and spiritually. You see, something, hey, he was two or three are gathered in the name. He was in the midst. So he said, hey, little brothers, go ahead and get the, go ahead and speak about me, man. But Lord, when this lesson was that a fine, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechak, Wadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to all you I came out there, pushing this word with all truth and sincerity. And with that, Shalom. Shalom.